we are going to write a, um, the, an equation of a parabola that goes through these three points. And the way that we're going to do it is uh, we're going to write a system to find the A, B, and C values that, uh, that, that fit this. We're doing a little curve fitting. So uh, I know that these points come in the form x, y. I'm just going to plug them into this equation. So when y is negative 14, x is 3. So that's a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c. Similarly, the next point when y is negative 3, x is 2. So a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. And then the last point, same thing. When y is negative 54, x is 5. So that means uh, I can write these equations out. 3 squared is 9, so it's 9a plus 3b plus c equals negative 14. 2 squared is 4, so 4a plus 2b plus c is negative 3. And then the third one, uh, 5 squared is 25. 5a plus 5b plus c equals negative 54. So let me write this as a matrix, and then I can plug away at it. So 9, 3, 1, negative 14. 4, 2, 1, negative 3. Hello, negative 3. And 25, 5, 1, negative 54. Wow. Hey, that looks like a person. How'd that happen? Um, I'm going to clean up this 3 as well, this negative 3. So I'm going to make some zeros. I will eliminate that and that right there. Let's go on this one. I'm just going to go row 1 minus row 2. Put it into row 2. And then for this next one, I don't know. I'll just go um, row 3 minus row 2. Put it into row 3. So if I do that, row one, uh, first row is unaffected, so 9, 3, 1, negative 4. Row 1 minus row 2, so 9 minus 4 is 5. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And then notice negative 14 minus negative 3. It's negative 14 minus negative 3. So that's negative 11. All right, so next one. Um, 20, uh, row 3 minus row 2. So 25 minus 4 is a 21. 5 minus 2, that's a 3. 1 minus 1 is 0. Negative 54 minus negative 3 is negative 51. It's minus a negative 3. Good. So then from here, uh, I think I'll make a 0 here. So I'm going to multiply this uh, second row, row 2 by 3, and then I will subtract it from row 3. So I'm going to go row 3 minus 3 times row 2. Put that into row 3. A little bit of scat scratch. I'm going to multiply this by 3 just so I have it down here. Uh, 15, 3, 0, negative 33. I'm going to subtract it, so let me do that real quick. One last thing to keep track of. Uh, first and second rows are not changed. So 9, 3, 1, negative 14. The next one, uh, 5, 1, 0, negative 11. And let's see, 21 uh, minus 15, that's a 6. 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Negative 51 minus 33, do, do, do negative 18. Great. So I know my A value. 6A is negative 18. So A must be negative 3. Good. Um, I can use that to get my B value. I uh, just plug it into here. So 5 times A plus B is negative 11. Negative 15 plus B is negative 11. Add 15 to both sides. Looks like B is 4. Plug those both into this top equation to get my C value. Uh, 9 times negative 3 plus 3 times 4 plus C is negative 14. So 9 times negative 3, that's a negative 27, plus 12, plus C, equals negative 14. Uh, negative 7, 12, negative 15, plus C is negative 14. 
So C must be 1. And I found A, B, and C. It feels really good, but I'm not done yet. Because, remember, what I'm looking for is this equation. The equation that these three points, um, the, the equation goes through those three points. So my equation will be Y equals, well, I know what A is. It's negative 3, X squared, plus B is 4, 4X four plus C is 1. And there it is. I can check it real easy, too. Like, take 3, plug it in, it should spit out negative 14. And that, check that for each of these three points, if they all work, you know you're right.